Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. It is that time for the weekly update on Polkadot. So we'll do some analysis as usual. What we'll do, we'll look at the USDT pairings and the BTC pairings and uh, identify those levels below and above, uh, which we could use to take some advantage either if you're looking to take profit or if you're looking to buy in or whatever you fancy. So we'll start off on the weekly time frame just to get a, a better perspective of things. In fact, what we'll do is look at Bitcoin, which is forming that w pattern down on the lower time frames if you look at that um there's a potential w pattern formed here we really need to get um well we have hit that neckline there we need to get back above 46k and create a higher um high so things might start to move on there as you can see we've created a higher high there higher low we're looking for closure above that 46k region to form a higher high that will be the bullish price structure will then see the market really drive us forward uh, but concentrating on polkadot today um looking at the structure on the we'll go to a weekly time frame you can see we are just continuing to drop like a lead balloon all the way down and you could say that if you look at this on the um <clears throat> the daily time frame we have actually broken out of that downtrend there let's get rid of that we have broken out of that downtrend that we've been in for quite a long time since those highs up on 15 november that's quite quite a um a lengthy period of time but we have um it's not the most accurate downtrend but as you can see it is a clear downtrend and if you look at the price action where we started off we've tapped it there double tapped and we'll come down what we've actually done is usually something which i always look for is a break of that downtrend followed by a retest so as you can see here and uh, we formed a bottom we pushed to the upside broke through and we've come back down and on this candle here we have retested it if you look bang retested that and then what you do then is push on and go up to the next level of resistance so in terms of um structure and the way I, I think we're heading i think we're looking good we have broken out of that downtrend now and um, although it's not the most <laughs> Um, exciting breakout we have actually broke out of a downtrend and we really need to get back above this region here at 22 dollars to to really say we have broken out a downtrend and, and and push on and create some um, some bullish price action but looking at current levels to buy we'll look at some levels to buy if you're looking to consider getting back into polka dot there's one main elephant in the room which is that 10 dollar region down here 1039 clear level of resistance there which then flipped to support and then again here so that is two major levels that we have hit before which is a potential area where you could load up so for me if you are looking for buys let's just go down to the hourly and we'll look at his latest move here we'll look at the entire move if you look at the entire move there to there we actually did a 38 percent retracement but if you look at the entire move if you're looking for buys what I would consider doing is laddering them in, starting at 1746 and just put them where you want. So, for example, use these fib levels 1746, um, 1616. Uh, 16. That would then complete a second retest of that downtrend and then hopefully a push up. Um, so that's that. And then just keep going down, ladder as many as you want. You can ladder them down 1746 all the way down to $10.39 that is that level of support which has been tapped multiple times which if bitcoin does get a shakeout i know we're saying we've formed a w pattern which is bullish and it breaks the upside but the markets are still on 10 so there's a lot of um global issues going on we've got the ukraine russia conflicts we also have um general world economic um outlook is poor just due to the fact that um, so much money has been spent on COVID-19 and just the general state of the world, it's it's not the best period really financially. So um, Bitcoin could take a tumble, but also uh, going quite against that, uh, Bitcoin could be that hedge against the normal financial system. So it's it's one of those, it's 10 talks. Um, but for me, um, I think up only, um, obviously, but price action, if you're looking for buy zones, ladder them in 17.45 all the way down to to 10.39 i think that could be some decent levels for your potential target jumping back to the daily time frame and we'll look at this in terms of let's have a look at the moving averages i use 50 and 20 um the moving averages are starting to get a little bit closer here if you can see that the white one is a 20 and the blue one is a 50 we had a bearish cross back in um, november which is quite a, a substantial while ago whenever price action just start pushing up you usually get the moving averages and um, start to close a little bit tighter when this happens, really, what you are looking for is the price actions continue up. We're actually using that 20 as support there. Um, but yeah, we want the price action to stay above the 20. Once it does, we're looking then to target a 50. So you could use that as a profit-taking level at $20, which is also a psychological area. 
Once we get back above that 50, it is then time to open some longs. Hopefully, we do get that soon, because currently it is just a time to short. Every time you lose that 50, short the life out of it until you can't short anymore, until you stop to hit and it does start to push back up. And on the contrary, opposite to that. So once we do get back above a 50, it will be time to, to open long. So we're looking for a breakout, probably retesting that, and then we're looking for nice, gradual, sustained growth up to these major levels of resistance, which I've got marked here. These red levels are weak levels of resistance where I personally will be taking profit. I mean, you can start skimming some profit off $20 all the way up to this level here at 22 two levels there to take profit. But for me, personally, I'm leaving... I've not sold a, um, a pocket at all um, in dollar pairings. I've just been staking as much as possible... Um, lucky enough to get more mine sub five dollars they've been staking for i don't know maybe nine ten months now um and what i will be doing at some stage in the future is pulling some out of staking and looking to take profit and i'll be using 37 dollars um 46 and the mill time high at 55 those are my three major take profit regions which i think would be real decent levels to potentially target so that's that covered really, the dollar pair, I have a size mid ground on my daily time frame, so I've got plenty of room to grow, plenty of room to drop if the market um, swings either way. So we are mid ground, 10 tucks is the word of today's video. Um, but yeah, looking at price action, broke at that downtrend retest, fingers crossed we do get started to, to push up soon. That's that pair covered, the, the USDT pairing. I'll just briefly cover the BTC pairing, not so many people trading Satoshis, but... If you've got a bit of skin in the game and you know how to trade, then using the BTC pairings on any altcoin could be a great mechanism to build up Bitcoin or vice versa. If you want to build up um, your Polkadot holdings um, and you've got a substantial amount of Bitcoin, it works um, vice versa. I put a tweet out earlier on saying that I think that um, this level down here, where I've got this box at 3,600 Satoshis, is going to be that level where personally I think could be a great level to potentially buy. It's a major level of support. If you look in the past, there was support wick here. I mean, it flipped to resistance. I'm using it as support there. So as you can see, them two wicks there, support, resistance. Uh, then it was support, major level of support there. I mean, if you're looking at current price action now, um, you can see that we are coming down towards that region. So price levels to, to look to contribute some buys are at 3,600 Satoshis. I don't think it will go any lower, Matt, to be honest. I mean, we have got another... Um, an area of support there which you could say uh, rejection rejection so that's down at 3200 so if you want a ladder if you're in uh, 3600 down to 3200 could be out regions for you to look to target i'm not going to look at any take profit regions because i'm expecting bitcoin to really regain some dominance over the course of the next um the next weeks and months that's going to do it if you are new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and catch you next time